hey, low in theory here. When I'm not blowing up Yam's bathroom, I'm watching MHL Sports Center. Serious business. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Moose family? Jim Flanagan once again here for MHL Sports Center. Welcome to the show, and we got a great show here, man. A lot of great highlights, a lot of great games here. Start things off here. It's a divisional matchup from week number one. It's game number two. The Lad Tabernacles taking on the Serious Business Cats. Now the Cats won game one, four or one. We head to game number two here. Great matchup here. Two solid goaltenders. You got Sobi IR Fierce taking on tired tons of clay. You got Cam I am. You got NJ Ski. But check the end of this game. See who comes out big. Let's go to the highlight. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Lace Tabernax versus the Serious Business Cats. This is game two. Let's get right into the action. Johnny Five into the zone. Back to Bender. One, two, wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. That's one nothing, Cats. Next up. We have Cool Fumble taking it into the zone and Cam. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Cam, you shouldn't be doing that to people. That's just wrong. Anyway, Johnny Five takes it back into the zone. Bender picks it up. No doubt about it. 2 nothing Cats. Luckily, Sobi Iron Fears is on their team. Cam with a whack. Oh, uh, no, absolutely not. I'm way too French for that. Thank you very much, though. With just seconds left in the first period, Rick comes out from behind the net. Absolutely. 2 1 Cats. Second period. Right back, trying to tie it up. Tired Tons Clay holds his ground on that short side. He's been playing the MHL too long at this point. Johnny Five, look at that vintage Johnny Five move. Fears, once again, literally way too French for that move. You cannot pull it on him. He invented it. Here's XZZZZX again, but Clay absolutely robs him with the glove once again. Here's an absolutely fantastic save. We're going to have to see that one again in slow-mo, folks. Moose family, you cannot teach this. This is absolutely brilliant goaltending by Fears. Bender checked by Ski. Nobody forechecks in the league better than NJ Ski. Nobody does it, and it makes no doubt about it. You can't turn it over to him. Next up, we have Valcor absolutely failing 110%. Rick pushes into the zone. Entire Tons of Glight once again holds his ground. Some great goaltending in this matchup late in the third. And now with just three minutes left in the third, J5 with the tie up. Cam, Bender, game, blouses. Or is it? With just 30 seconds left in the game. Scramble for the puck. Rick out to BC Soft for the B one time or. And we're all tied up, folks. With just 20 seconds left. NJ Ski absolutely robbed by tired tons of clay. Once again, a frantic finish here in the MHL. But now once we get to OT. And now a scuffle. They try to get out of the zone. The Cats can't clear. Cool comes back. Cool keeps it. Keeps it. Out to BC Soft. The B one time more once again. And that's it, folks. Lace Tabernox take it. BC Soft with two goals in this game, personal friend. And the Cats just could not put them away. All right, great series right there. BC Soft coming out big, getting the tying goal there, and then the overtime game-winning goal to give the Lead Tabernox the win there. We have game number three later on here tonight. But going on to the next series here, this time it's week number two, game one between the gratuitous amounts of energy taking on the relax and take notes. Now Taz made a lot of moves, a lot of changes here. You're going to see Shadow Demon here in the lineup taking on energy with a Superstar 500 in net. And Superstar just playing his ass off in this one. Watch these saves here. Watch this matchup. Let's go to the highlights. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Relax and Take Notes versus the gratuitous 
amounts of energy. I know it's a difficult vocab word for some of our people here over at Sports Center, but we can handle it. Superstar 500! Oh my goodness gracious, that's why he was one of the top goalies in the league. I'd like you to notice who's the right D on this play. That'd be Global, and that'd be somebody else rapping on Global's side. He's created a monster, folks. You can only blame him. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Frosty Nightmare, one of the top forwards in the league, and one of the Frenchiest people I've ever even heard of in my entire life, pulling a fantastic spin around back. Handed top. No. Nope. Lefty Clayton says, uh uh. Here we come once again. Relax and take notes entering the zone. And you know what? I hate to blow him because blowing is gay, but Superstar 500. That's a fantastic save from a fantastic goalie. Look at this, though. WG fill out to global far side. 1 1. The breakout, Wade, tries to go far side. I don't think so. But eventually, Wade would come down left side, hit out Shadow Demon, snipe top cheese, 3-3. Three, three. And ladies and gentlemen, it's time to sit back and enjoy the Superstar 500 show. What an unbelievable save coming across the crease. And they keep it up. Relax and take notes would absolutely pound the pressure home. A third rap attempt. I just, how is this possible? Superstar, no. Out to the point. Back down low. Superstar sees everything. He must have the puck trail on as well. That's the only explanation I could possibly have for any of this, really. Finally, Wade would come down the Shadow Demon, and Superstar couldn't stop that one. 4-3, relax and take notes. Minor upset here. Gratuitous amounts of energy uh, would lose, and eventually Jason Morsky would trade away his entire team after this series, believe it or not. Uh, but a fantastic performance by Superstar, keeping his team in the game. But eventually, Shadow Demon would put home the game winner. And I would just like to make a big shout-out to the rest of the members of the Moose Media who have no idea what the word gratuitous is. That's all. All right, great series right there. And Shadow Demon coming out big at the end of that game. Two big goals. Give Relax and Take Notes the 4-3 to three win. Uh, up next here, we've got Jason Morsky's team here uh, once again. Uh, but this time playing against Charlie Brown Christmas, well, now known as Never Say Never. And this is before the name change. This is before Jason Morsky swapped his whole team. So it's so week number two here, game number one. Charlie Brown taking on energy. Let's go to the highlight. Christmas time is here. And by that, of course, I mean Justin Bieber is here because Drift King apparently thought it was a better idea to name his team after Justin Bieber than the Peanuts. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, it's gratuitous amounts of energy versus a Charlie Brown Christmas getting right into the action. Big breakout here for Charlie Brown Christmas. Luca over to Bunsky's. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a kick. This isn't FIFA. This is NHL 12. Despite Drift King having very strong ties with the people upstairs in Toronto, unfortunately enough, it wasn't enough pull to make this a goal. It remained 0-0. But it would not be long before Christmas got on the board. Drift King would enter the zone. Down to Luca. Over back to Bunsky's. Look at that. spin rama one nothing. Christmas time. Meet the Assassin has started playing NHL 12. He's done that from time to time. <laughs> Luca around the back to Bunsky's. And that is the at least the fourth or fifth rap highlight I've seen today. So I guess we can't call out Global anymore because apparently everybody does it. And the southbound on a northbound freeway. Look out. Ten extra points if you can name the video game that's from, kids. That's WG Phil getting wrecked. Thank goodness Superstar is back there, though, because what an outstanding save to keep it 2 nothing. Here's some more gratuitous amounts of passing for you. Jay-Z with the classic cut. Big Deke back down over to WG Phil. Just 12 minutes left in the second period, and Phil would take it from there. 2-2, all tied up. With Christmas on the power play, big save by Superstar off the D-to-D -D pass. Off the face-off in the power play, Charlie Brown Christmas looking to hold the post here. Gratuitous amounts of energy, doing their best to keep positions. 
getting it down low. Eventually, we would find Derek, GNR, for the big one-timer, rings it off the post and in. Gratuitous amounts of energy would not be denied, though. As Frosty Nightmare would kick it back off to his buddy Global, over to Jay-Z for another snapshot from the circle to tie it up at three with just six minutes left. Frosty Nightmare takes it around the net, and you just, you can't leave a French person wide open. You just, I mean, if there's anything we've learned this entire league, we've, you know, you've got you've to gotta watch those motherfuckers because they will score when game-winning goals on you, and you will get emo, and you will change your team name to a Justin Bieber reference. All right, nice come, come back there. Uh, gratitude some amounts of energy, getting the big win there. Frosty Nightmare with that game winner, 4-3 final. Um, moving on here, as promised, earlier you guys saw the matchup between JJ's team taking on Sobi IR Fears, Vlad Tabernox taking on the Serious Business Cats. They won, Cats won game one, game two going to the Tabernox, all tied up here, 1-1. One one. Let's see who takes this series here. It's game number three. Let's go to the highlight. Ladies and gentlemen, Lace Tabernax versus the Serious Business Cats, Game 3. Rick comes around in the back of the net, right outside the cool fumble. Tired Tons of Clay says, meow. That means no in cat language, by the way. Also, JJ, no, JJ, no, you can't come in the JJ zone like that. That's not how it works. Valcor failing for what seems to be about the fifth or sixth time in these clips, but Tired Tons of Clay bails him out yet again. Cam I am doing his high cam dangles over there in the circle. Johnny Five, once again, fears absolutely not. Lace Tabar, no. Cam takes it around in the back corner, puts it up. Fears cannot. He, I don't even know how you make that save, really, at this point. JJ quarterbacking the play from the back. Absolute rip from Johnny Five. Nada. Fears cannot be stopped at this point, folks. He really, really can't. Johnny Five enters the zone, hits up Cam, out to JJ. Big one-timer, no, absolute rebound, save here. Cam doing, this is vintage Cam. Fears, absolutely not, but Johnny, you got to stay with me on this one, folks. The one-timer out of the air, is it a high stick? Let's go up to Toronto and find out. It ended up not being a goal. And then, as many of you know, as soon as you make a fantastic save as a goalie, you get some crappy garbage goal like that one to go in. one nothing cats. <laughs> Rick over to BC Soft. Tired Tons of Clay once again gets over for the big one-timer save. Ski entering the zone. Fumble. Absolutely not. From fantastic gold team in this one. We're still in the third. It's 1-0. Cam. One loops Puck Deke. Two loops Puck Deke. Johnny Five. Uh-uh. Fierce says no. But look at Bender coming to pick it up and stuff it in home ball by himself. 2-0 Cats. It's also fantastic forechecking here by Lace Tabernax. Rick tries to put it home. Ski. He doesn't miss. You can't give him that many opportunities, folks. Ski enters the zone. We're getting late in the third. It's getting down to crunch time. Cam looks for the pick. Absolutely not. Here comes Ski again. Ski, far, short, far. Tired tons of clay. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see this one again. Just talk about holding your ground. It's against one of the top forwards in the league. You can't teach that. Look at Ski. He's relentless, though. Puts it absolutely not. A barrage of shots coming. Kicks it out to BC Soft. The big. Nope. No. No, just please stop shooting at me. He says, he says, I've had enough of that. But as we all know, despite Tired Sons of Clay, fantastic play. Just get pucks at the net, kids. Just get pucks at the net. Ski, no. Another save by Tired Sons of Clay. But eventually, it would pay off. It would pay off the hard work by Lace Tabernox. With just two minutes left, BC, no. Ski, yes. And that's why he has at least 30 Moose Cups. I think he has somewhere in the vicinity of 30. Johnny Five cuts it in, but can't. Cam, the top shelf, fantastic mozzarella cheese, the dessert for the Tabernox. Unfortunate and fantastic late third period comeback by the Tabernox, but the Cats take it. NJ Ski with two goals by himself, tired tons of clay with a fantastic game, but it was not enough to stop those dangly motherfucking cats. Serious business, Moose family. Serious, serious business, Cats. All right, what a great finish there. Looked like the Ela Tabernox were going to come back on this one again. They tied it up. But then, what a great pass there. Johnny Five to Cam I Am. Been doing it all season here so far. And the Serious Business Cats win that one. They take the series two out of three games. All right, that's, that's all the games here for this episode. Um, we have another episode coming up shortly. Uh, next episode's jam-packed. We got the Fappers, led there by the Duke, taking on... 
the team you just saw right there, the Serious Business Cats. Great series. We have two games, two overtime games in that one. Also, Second Nature in action on the next episode, and a whole bunch more. Um, that much, uh, pretty much wraps it up here. Just want to let uh, everybody know who's viewing. Uh, if you want to do voiceover commentary, man, on the games or on the top play uh, of the week, let me know. Looking for guys wanting to do voiceovers. Also, if anybody interested editing the videos to get the videos out, out much quicker. And uh, if you're interested in capturing the games, like Octizzi, Cam I Am, doing a phenomenal job here this season. Uh, message me, send me a PM, whatever. I'm always online, moosenice.com, Jim Flanagan, MHL Sports Center, signing out.